Hello everyone and welcome to the Raw Vegan Guru channel where we are raising our health consciousness. In today's video I'm going to be discussing the immune system and immune defense because we're hearing a lot about this lately. Uh, it is April of 2020 and I believe that there is an overload of information and people are not realizing the simplicity of how to approach strengthening our immune system. So firstly, let's figure out what is the immune system? The immune system is basically a first line defense. Um, I always refer to it as like the Great Wall of China. And it is a stronghold against foreign invasion. So the first thing that the immune system actually is, is our skin. Now, side note, we must be very cautious as to what we allow on our skin because it is like a sponge. It is a living organ and it is going to have a direct impact to our internal system and functions. So it's vital that we keep a very personalized relationship and consciousness toward the skin and what we're going to allow to interact with it. So in the immune system structure, the skin is the first line of defense and also um, our breathing apparatus. So our nose and then our lungs, uh, these are going to have a first line uh, kind of uh, drawn in the sand as to who it's going to let, uh, you know, come on in or uh, pass that barrier. So when these systems are overloaded and they are weakened by our daily practices, our food intakes, our um, pharmaceutical um, toxification, and our mental state as well, uh, stress, anxiety, depression, um, and anti-love, that is going to hinder and weaken the capacity of the immune system. So think about the immune system like an engine in a vehicle. Um, you could rebuild a beautiful, you know, 1964 muscle car engine and you could make that thing roar and take to the streets at, uh, you know, 120 miles per hour. Or you could put a little uh, golf cart, you know, battery powered um, mechanical motor in the system. And that's just going to um, putter around and it's really not going to give you that pickup and that oomph that you need to excel. So the immune system past the skin um, is comprised of organs, tissues, and cells. Now in previous videos, I have discussed the importance of the cellular structure being that that's the entire makeup of the human vessel and all living physical creatures um, on this beautiful, immensely magical earth that we have taken for granted uh, for the most part as a um, human species. But I believe that is turning around, that we are having more awareness that we cannot survive without it and without having that interaction. So when we talk about the cellular structure, we are talking about rejuvenating the cells or we're talking about um, destroying the cells. Now, the whole pharmaceutical realm is mad, mad Frankenstein science because it has no place in nature. And since we are from nature and we go back into nature and we survive with a relationship and coexistence of nature, there is no place for pharmaceuticals in that equation. Um, I'm trying to think, um, I know in some extreme uh, situations, a life and death on the table, um, there may be a emergency, um, perhaps, I'm, I'm really drawing a blank on how pharmaceuticals can play a role, role in um, the human uh, relationship. 
So since I can't even uh, think of anything, um, perhaps uh, the body has been infiltrated at a insanely overloading um, feature of a um, foreign body, uh, like a uh, bacteria from a environment that the system has never been exposed to before. So it, it gets overridden um, and you're dying, you're collapsing. Again, that's going to be your immune system defense that is so weakened and destroyed that you are dying. Um, so perhaps in the emergency room situation, um, they'll introduce an antibiotic to uh, start, start to try to fend off those, um, I, I mean, I, I can't, it's so hard for me to wrap my head around how pharmaceuticals are justified. Um, so perhaps just to bring you back from the brink of death in an extreme, extreme situation, you drink some water in a foreign country and your body, uh, was not used to those microbes or bacterias or, or fung funguses or viruses that got in and it just kind of overtook you. So um, maybe in a stat situation, uh, it, it could save a life. But what it's also going to do, if we're going to talk antibiotic, it's going to kill the biome. It's going to kill all of the healthy flora and the bacteria needed for uh, optimal survival and um, to be at a healthiest status. So other than that, the immune system is going to operate and it's going to excel and it's going to function and flourish and grow and do its proper job by feeding those cells properly, by maintaining those cellular structures through vitamins and minerals and proper hydration. So what is going to strengthen our immune system? The sun. That's a, that's a really good first uh, thing to consider. The sun is going to convert vitamin D into your body, immune system. And it's going to ward off uh, viruses and bacteria just by uh, it being the sun and us being a uh, living a uh, you know, entity on the earth. So that's a good start. Um, vitamin K, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin A, zinc, colloidal silver, garlic, ginger, horseradish, iodine, there are so many natural substances. The bugs are getting me out here, um, but that's okay. I, you know, I'm just going to be on earth. Um, so these vitamins and these minerals that we can get from exterior sources, or I like to go with nature uh, to the core, we can get from our raw whole foods. Now, remember when we cook our whole foods, we are going to um, kill off any enzymes. We're going to kill off any living um, forces that we would get otherwise, but we will still get minerals. So that's an important thing to remember. Um, minerals will not be disintegrated as um, other components of the raw food sources would be. Um, in order to get these vitamins, these essential vitamins and these minerals, all we need to do is eat a variety of a whole food plant, plant-based diet and um, in, the, in the highest uh, percentage of raw. Um, of course, as I've discussed before, you know, let's stick to the fruits. We're going to get um, mostly everything we need. Let's bring in a little bit of uh, raw vegetable. Raw vegetable juicing is going to give us uh, hot dog awesomeness. And if we do not have um, these components in our life, then we can reach out toward uh, exterior um, product lines. We're going to have to really do the research into what is the simplest and the most natural sourced product 
of vitamins and minerals. Now, we are so um, misinformed and we're bombarded with so much information in the current, without me saying it, 1984, um, April 2020 uh, scenario in the world that we need to realize the natural defenses and relationship we have with our body is what's going to defeat and deflect and protect and deal with what is happening in the world right now. Most people who are suffering, um, if not all people who are suffering from the current situation that has been bestowed upon our world, um, not from nature, that is because their immune systems are defective, strained, and weakened. Now, how can we weaken the immune system? Because I've already discussed how we can strengthen it. We can weaken the immune system by being stressed. We can weaken the immune system by staying indoors and not getting out into nature where we have that um, physical interaction with natural microbes and bacteria and funguses that help strengthen our immune system and fresh air. We can strain our immune system by eating improper foods, cooked foods, meats, dairies, processed foods that are going to strain us and they're going to make us fully acidic. So I will not confuse you with all of the details and science of the immune system. I wanted to keep this video short and simple. We can strengthen, build, maintain, and defend our body against the current situation by simply eating a balanced, versatile, whole food, plant-based diet. So if you like this video and you like my other videos, please subscribe to my channel. Click the link below. Share and subscribe. I really appreciate any comments you guys can leave below. Any questions you have, I will be sure to answer. And remember, you can take health into your own hands. Nature has given us everything we need to be at our optimal best. So remember to subscribe to my channel and support the mission of this community, which is to educate, and help people maintain a healthy living vegan lifestyle. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.